Hi y'all, this is Larry from Deep South Texas. I'm a homestead homie and you're watching Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. What's up homestead homies? Again, we can't thank you guys enough for sending in the intros. Um, if you want to send one in, all you have to do is uh, Gmail it over to us and uh, we're working through them and uh, we'll put up every ones that we get. It just takes time. We are getting a lot of them. They are so much fun. Yeah, yeah we, we really them. do appreciate them. Try to be creative. Uh, just say that you know your name, where you're from, that you're a homestead homie and you are watching Off Grid with Doug and Stacy. All right, so today we're going to talk about kind of the health and healing of seeds. And seeds are so wonderful to add to your diet because they kind of cover the whole gamut because they're high in fat and they're high in good fats and they're loaded. They're like little superheroes of um, in a small package filled with so many vitamins and minerals that we need. They're gluten free. They're paleo. You know, you can add them to almost any type of diet and they're great for your health. So your new nickname is going to be the Birdman. That's right, because we love those seeds. Not just like chickens, we like to do those seeds because they are so wonderful for our body. All right, what's up? Well, I wanted to talk about, because in, in just a little bit, we're going to also do, I'm going to give you a recipe that you're going to try um, and you can implement. And it's something that anybody will just love. Yeah, cuckoo. Yeah, cuckoo. It's kind of rainy out today, but what we want to do is um, we're going to give you some benefits and some tricks and talk about some of the health stuff of it. And then we're going to move right into, and on this video, we're going to move right into some preparation and uh, something that you can make with it um, so that today, the whole family will like. So one, you That's get right. a kind of healthy video and a little recipe too, all in one. All right, so what are we going to start off with? Okay, the first thing that I want to talk about is pumpkin seeds. And I know a lot of you guys grow your own pumpkins, so there you go. You've got a great source, but if not, if you're not able to make sure when you're doing this, you want to get the raw pumpkin seeds. You don't want to get them already roasted and some kind of icky oil. You don't want them to use, you know, regular refined salt. You want your own raw pumpkin seeds that you can do your own things to. So that's the first thing I want to talk about. Now, pumpkin seeds are, I mean, they're very high in zinc. And zinc is something that we need for immune system. And it's great for, you know, your skin and your hair. And um, a big thing for men. Your so prostate. If you're, a, if you're a man, you need the zinc because you produce a lot of zinc in your prostate. You need it for the prostate. So it's very healthy for you to take for, for men. But besides that, it's great for um, menopausal women, for your hormones. Um, Insulin regulation. Yeah, all that. that. That was good. He's right. All these seeds that we're going to talk about actually are all great for um, your blood sugars and insulin regulation. So seeds are a very good thing to add to your diet if you are suffering from... Um, insulin related problems or diabetes and seeds work very well when it comes to that. Um, so pumpkin seeds is one that is just great that you want to kind of add to your arsenal. So when you're doing it, you might want to add it to your smoothies, you might want to add it to your oatmeal, you might want to add it to, you know, with your snacks. So a pumpkin seed is my first one. And it's good for your sleep and your mood too. Oh yeah, let's talk about that. Um, pumpkin seeds have tryptophan in it. Now the thing is with tryptophan, it's like the precursor before you get your serotonin, the serotonin turns into the melatonin, basically. You need all three of them. So you could have like some pumpkin seeds before you go to bed at night. Um, maybe with like a little carb if you maybe, sometimes I might even have a little in a little thing of yogurt. Or maybe have a few blueberries or raspberries. But not right or before you go to bed. No, but like, you know, a couple, couple hours. hours or so, you yeah. know, just go ahead and eat some of that. Because it will help with you to sleep through the night. Because sometimes, you know, you go to sleep, you don't have any problems going to sleep, but it's hard for you to stay asleep the whole night. So this could help with you sleeping the whole time. And we so, did a video right here about two free things that you could do to improve your health. Yeah, check that out. Check that out. So try that maybe if you're having trouble sleeping, you know, get some of the pumpkin seeds and then mix it with, um, you know, a few little handfuls of berries. And did you say it was good for inflammation? All these are good for inflammation. Yeah. Everything I'm going to talk about, yeah, they're great. They're all great for inflammation, and it's good for your blood sugars. Um, and I'll get going on because a lot of them I'm gonna. I don't want to reiterate a lot of the stuff, but yeah, we don't want it to be like 20 minute video. No, no, We're trying I to get go in on. and get out. So let's go. So that's our first one is our is our pumpkin seeds, and then the next one are chia seeds. Ch the ch little chia. teeny, yeah, like you used to remember the little. That's chia how I got my beard. <laughs> we sprinkled them on, and I watered them every day. I water it and then. <laughs> But chia seeds are, 
I mean, the Aztecs, the Mayans, the Apaches, uh, the Incans, I mean, all of them, it was like Warriors. The super, that right. they were, it was for, you know, the, when they would fight, it would give right. them energy. They're very high in protein. They um, fill you up. So that's, a, they really fill you up 30 times. I think they can, uh, you know, fill up 30 times their little weight. So what, let's say you just have a little, you know, spoonful of them. I mean, it'll blow up like you can't imagine when you add water to them. So it's something that, you know, they would use and take with them. They used to even barter with them because they were so worth... I was just going to so say, worth... that's a coveted seed and they would actually use it for currency. Right, right. So the chia seeds are, are pretty cool. They have, they're good for your digestion. Um, they have, Here comes the brush. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> they have something called mucin in it and, and it's, um, when they get wet, they get kind of like jelly and yeah. kind of like fish eggs kind of sort yeah. of. And when you ingest them, once they get, you know, liquid, they kind of are like the toothbrush, toothbrush for your intestines and your colon, and it'll kind of clean out, like, through the pocket. So when it's going through there, it's giving you, like, a little yeah. cleanse. So it's really good for that. Um, chia seeds are loaded in magnesium, and, I mean, your minerals, the calcium is huge in chia seeds, very, very, very high, um, more than, you know, more than milk. And you get a lot of your your calcium from your leafy greens. You're getting more probably than you are going to get your milk. But chia seeds are way up there too. So they're just something, you know, you look at these tiny things and you think, oh, they're no big deal. But, I mean, they are just antioxidants. power pack. Lots of anti antioxidants. More than blueberries? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they do. More than blueberries. They do. They're very, very high in so many things. And then the protein is high too more high than like a, a legume or like a pea, beans, things like that. So it's pretty, pretty high. So that's the, number two. Number two. So the next one I want to talk about are flax seeds. Um, I love flax seeds. Flax seeds are great. They're another one that when they get wet, they get that mucin and it kind of gets jelly-like and it's great for your digestion. So the chia and the flax seeds, I just, got, I just talked about the chias, are Did great you? for digestion. So if you're suffering any digestive problems, um, it gives you that toothbrush, you know, helping with your colon, with, through going to the bathroom. Um, it's it's just, a good cleanser. Yeah, it's just wonderful. It's good for your hair and your skin and your fingernails. Huge, because all of these seeds that we're talking about are really high in magnesium, but the flax seed is the highest out of anything oh. in the whole world. And I would probably say magnesium, gosh, 80% or more are probably are needing magnesium in your diet. Magnesium, you need magnesium for so many things, like for your hair, your skin, your nails, for, for your nervous system, for your respiration, for your bones and your muscles. I mean, you need magnesium for everything. It helps to relax you. It helps with your mood. So magnesium is something that we all need just to help with, and magnesium helps you to relax, to sleep at night. So this is, these seeds are just so wonderful, and I keep telling you to add them to your diet every day, you know. And, and soak them. We did a video about that, too. And in my video, I'm going to show you what we're going to do in just a second. Yeah. We'll do that. But um, flax seeds are great for also controlling your hormones right. um, naturally. So if you are having menstrual problems, if you're having menopausal problems, you know, with hot flashes or headaches or anything like that. And even all these seeds, I'm talking about magnesium. Magnesium is great if you suffer from, from headaches, migraines and things. It could help with that. Um, Anti-aging. See, she looks great. She's 82 years old. <laughs> that's right. So, so that, that, that's just, just a few of things. I'm not even going into We're half of the stuff the, that, that the these surface. seeds could do because yeah. we'll be here forever. Um, so that's your flax seed. All right, number four. The last one that I want to talk about is sunflower seeds. And I know a lot of you guys that have gardens and stuff, you can do the sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds are just great. They are loaded in two big ones, which are vitamin E, which is great for your cardiovascular health, and um, folate. So and it's a dense source of vitamin E, so you really get some. Yeah, we, yeah, you need a you need a, a lot of it. You're, it's very power packed. These little seeds are all power packed. So. Um, these are just something that you can kind of add to your arsenal. I'm saying, you know, you want, you want everything filled with your arsenal of, yeah. of good seeds. And um, they're so 
easy to just take if you're going to on a trip or the kids can have it or, or if you're hungry. What I like about these is there's something that you can take if you just are ha you know having like that hunger pang and you yeah. want to fill up. And they're good because they're filled with fat. They're all high in omega threes. They're the highest sources of like plant-based omega threes, which you're not going to get like from an animal source like um, wild caught. Um, sardines or from salmon, things like that. So um, there's something that, and they'll fill you up. And that's the problem. People aren't getting enough good fat, so they can't make it from meal to meal. I'm not a big person on like snacking all the time and all the time because it does, every time you eat, it does raise your insulin levels. Um, unless you do have a health problem where you need to eat. Yeah, we're not but doctors and we're not <laughs> saying that we're going to do it. But, you know, if you can eat, you know, two, three meals a day, that, that's good because your body needs some time where you need to have nothing in it, where you can kind of um, let your bowels relax. Right. But, uh... And that uh, sunflower is good for your bones and your teeth. Yeah, all these, I mean... Your gums. Yeah, all these vitamins and minerals that we need are just, Blood just sugar. huge. Right, yeah. definitely. Good stuff. Seeds right. are good for, yeah, insulin and... and so we just brushed over some of the health benefits. We don't want this to be a super long video, but now we're going to show you a little trickity tricks on some uh, little dish you can make that the whole family will enjoy. Is that right? Definitely. All right, so here we go. Okay, before we get started, I just wanted to um, talk to you first about the best ways to really absorb and get the most benefit out of the seeds. I would not recommend just eating them, the seeds... Um, without either sprouting them and that's what I'm going to do today because that way it'll break off the coating the phytic acid and help for better mineral absorption. I'll link a video above here about what I did talking about sprouting um, seeds and the other way to do it is if you get your seeds if you put them in a um, like a coffee grinder and grind them um, and made them into like a meal you know when you buy flaxseed meal I wouldn't recommend getting the meal I would recommend getting the actual seed and then grinding it itself like that so the flax seeds are the way you want to really ground grind it that way so those are the two ways either you're going to sprout them or you can grind them okay so first thing I'm going to do is you'll need a jar I like to put them in um, these pint sized jars and you're going to put your seeds in here, and I'm going to layer them. And I'm going to show you right here. I've already done one. And as you can see, see how gloppy and jelly it is? Here's your toothbrush for your colon right here. Okay, and that's because of the chia seeds and the um, flax seeds. All right, so that's what it's going to look like when we get done. So all I'm going to do is layer my jar. I put a, about a, I'm going to do this different again. That one just has flax seeds, sunflower seeds, and chia seeds. This one's going to have just a little chia seeds. I just put a tablespoon. You guys decide what you like, you know. So I did about a tablespoon of that. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put some sunflower seeds in there. I'm going to only fill it about halfway full. And then I'm going to do some, um, of my pumpkin seeds. I'm going to do a little bit more pumpkin seeds on this one. I'll give it, I'll put it all in there. And then I'm going to do the rest with my, with my flax seeds. Okay. And then all I'm going to do is use my filtered water. And we have filtered water here. Don't use chlorinated water. Okay. Just like that. Okay, so let's say you, you put this in the refrigerator. You can do it overnight. You can let it last. Like, I'll make these a few days in advance. They'll last two, three days in the refrigerator. Easy, and then I'll just use them up. Um, and all I would do is, you know, if I want a little bit for a meal, I might do a couple tablespoons in there or for a snack. Or, and then I might put a little bit of cinnamon, a little sprinkle of there, and then maybe just a dash of hunt, uh, maple syrup, like so. I'm going to mix it all up. Just like that, and I would eat it. So I could add berries to this. I could, like I say, you could add granola. You could do it on oatmeal. You could do it in yogurt. So many different ways of doing this, and it's something that is a healthy fat. It's great for you. Um, it will fill you, help you to get between meals. So try it. Mmm, very good. 
especially with the cinnamon. So check it out. Let us know what you guys think. I always like to hear what you guys think, or maybe if you're doing a variation of this, I would love to hear from you. Um, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I probably have cheese seeds between my teeth. <laughs> but um, this is Dr. Doug and Stacy, and I will see you guys later. See ya. For you guys who stuck around to the end, just a little reminder, the first Thursday of every month, we go live here on YouTube at 10.30 a.m. Central Standard Time. So be there or be square. We'll see ya. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a Homestead Homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will, will see, see you, you tomorrow. tomorrow.